Hi YouTube, this is Matt Macintosh and for this video what I want to show you is how you can go about uh, fixing the problem of uh, geometry collapsing together. So I'm going to take this uh, hand and show you what I'm on about. So what I get, um, I get a lot of students saying to me that basically when they use a brush um, sometimes the geometry flattens down it doesn't really matter what brush it is I'm going to use it with the clear tool here um, it's quite a high intensity but as you can see when I start going over the geometry um, it flattens things down even if I turn it down to a low intensity and go over that surface you can see that it's still flattening the geometry down now if you've got a thin piece of geometry you don't want that to happen and one way that you can get around it is to actually shrink down your reticle. It means that even if you're using high intensity um, you know, uh, power for your, your brush, you're still only limited to a small area. The moment that that reticle gets too big, it will flatten the geometry. So the best way is to use the brush modifier, go to where it says auto masking, and then turn on back face mask. And what you'll find is that it doesn't matter what size uh, brush you've got or what intensity that brush is, um, it will keep the same uh, thickness of the mesh. So if you are finding that when you're sculpting things like this and maybe you're going over an area that's a little bit thin um, and your brush is a bit bigger than you expect, if you've not got that back face masking on, it will flatten it like so. The easy way around it is just to turn back face masking on so it's under brush back face mask hopefully that's of use for you if it is please like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching